Good day! We are the Group 5 and we are going to look back at some of the significant contributions to science and technology of the administration under Benigno Simeon Aquino III and how it shaped the nation. President Benigno Aquino III set out the vision of renewable energy as a tool to break the Philippines from its dependence on imported fossil fuels. In 2011, President Aquino III and the DOA made a five years national advocacy program to provide a conductive environment of assembling and manufacturing of the equipment for agriculture and fisheries production processing and marketing. It has also promoted that the use of renewable energy such as wind, solar, hydro, biomass, and other farm-based energy sources as a power source for the operation and maintenance of agricultural and fisheries and machinery. For industry, the Philippines had one of its strongest year for growth in 2012, exceeding all expectations. The first quarter GDP gross domestic product of 2013 recorded at 7.8% raised the bar even higher among the community of nations, exceeding even our growth trend. Even as they predict continued favorable economic prospects for the Philippines, leading credit rating agencies have placed the country at the investment grade level and the benefits of good governance are being translated into an improvement in the quality of life for all Filipinos, particularly the poor and vulnerable. Social services continue to receive the largest share of the national budget with social intervention and protection programs at the heart of our poverty reduction strategy. Economists agree that the Aquino administration was able to put the government's finances in order, primarily through a transparent budgeting process which resulted in lower public borrowings and constantly smaller budget deficits. There were also very few new taxes imposed during his presidency. Among the strides made in securing the welfare of our fellow Filipinos is intensifying access to quality health care. Among others, the continuous upgrading of government health facilities, the systematic de deployment of health professionals to far-flung areas, a comprehensive program providing free vaccination to children has been established. Numerous policies to improve financial protection in health care costs have been adopted, and universal health insurance coverage in the Philippines as well as on its way to becoming a reality. On June 19, 2013, President Aquino signed RA 10606, an act amending the National Health Insurance Act of 1995, which mandates the provision of comprehensive health care services to all Filipinos. Through a socialized health insurance program that will prioritize the health care needs of the, of the unprivileged, sick, elderly, persons with disabilities, women and children, free health care services are provided to indigents. PhilHealth now provides the poorest Filipino households with full coverage of expenses for medical procedures such as maternity and newborn care packages, as well as treatment for selected catastrophic diseases such as dengue, pneumonia, breast and pr prostate cancer, and childhood acute leukemia. In a historic moment for advocates of educational equity, President Benigno Aquino III approved Republic Act 10533 signing into law the K-12 program on May 15, 2013. The K-12 program covers kindergarten and 12 years of basic education, 6 years of primary schooling, 4 years of junior high school, and 2 years of senior high school. By adding 2 years to the current educational system, K-12 aims to provide mastery of skills for lifelong learners and prepare for career opportunities. The program also contextualizes lessons to students as concepts will be explained using local culture with the use of the students' respective mother tongues. 
The curriculum also prepares graduates to acquire mid-level skills that will show them more opportunities even in the global job market. During the signing ceremony, President Aquino stated that the K-12 program that this law will empower the next generation of Filipinos. Teach for the Philippines shares that vision as we leave our mark on our country through our goal of achieving educational equity. President Noynoy Aquino signed into law on May 23, 2016, a bill creating a new department. Republic Act No. 10844 allows the creation of the new Department of Information and Communications Technology or DICT. In accordance with the law, the DICT shall be the primary policy, planning, and implementing of the administrative entity of the executive branch in the government that will promote the nation's ICT development agenda in its sector. The DICT shall strengthen its efforts as it shaped our country's public access to information and communications technology. Also, the consumer's protection all throughout the country. It is expected that the department will focus on nation building by safeguarding the information as of the advancement being utilized. It will also address issues concerning internet connectivity, communication services, data privacy, and security in cybercrime. Under the law existing, agencies will be abolished and transferred to the DICT. Former President of the Philippines, Benigno Aquino III, has made a lot of projects and we will tour you to these places where he established them. So first up, we will be visiting the famous Nina Aquino International Airport or commonly known as Lina Ia Airport. It is located in Barangay Senese, Pili in Camarita Sur. Now heading to Pasay City, we will get to see Naiya Expressway Phase 2. Up next is the Ligaspi Base Port, found in the city of Ligaspi in Albay. Then we have the Tabaco Port, an expansion of reinforced concrete work, found in Tabaco City. Landing to the municipality of Mati in Davao Oriental, We'll get to cross the JCT Menzi Dahitan Lawigan Tourism Road. Blue Point Port, Barangay Sasa, Davao City. Replacement of Lukban Bridge and approaches along Manila Road. It's located in Abulu, Cagayan. Lubu Malabrico, San Juan Road. It's located in San Juan, Batangas. Gandara Matunginao Road, it's located in Kalbayog City, Samar. Katbalugan Port, it's located in Katbalugan City, Samar. And Butuan City Bypass Road, it's located in Misamis Oriental. 